welcome back to my channel. Oh my god, do you guys see this ponytail? It's so cute. Like, <laughs> it's so cute. Look at it. And I did it myself, y'all, and it only cost me like $20 for these bundles to do this hair. And I've used this hair more than once, okay? On the I did the same ponytail more than once. But yeah, if you guys want to see how I do this sleek body wave ponytail. I don't even know what I'm gonna title this video yet, but if you wanna see how I got this ponytail, make sure you guys go ahead and keep watching. Make sure you hit that subscribe button, comment down below and let me know what you guys thought of the video. Go on my Instagram and follow me. Um, but yeah, we're just gonna get straight into the video. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So let's get started. So I'm just gonna take this paddle brush that I like to use and I'm gonna use that to put my hair into a ponytail. I like to use this brush because it gets like everything. You know, sometimes when you do a ponytail, it pretty much only gets like the surface. I love this brush because it literally gets every single piece of hair and it's like detangling, doing all of that stuff at the same time. So I'm literally just going to brush my hair up into a ponytail and I'm just gonna put it into a bun. So right now, I'm literally just trying to get my ponytail as sleek as possible, as, you know, nice, and I don't want no lumps, no bumps, so I'm just trying to get it as nice as I possibly can. Um, and once I have that, I'm pretty much going to take two elastic bands, and I'm going to use that to put my hair into a bun. And I'm going to do this step to put my hair into a bun to help us prepare um, for actually applying product and doing all that stuff. That way, the hair is just not in our face, because when you got 4C hair, girl, it's a lot of work. So here comes the struggle part. I'm gonna take some Eco Styler Gel and I'm gonna use that to apply around my edges. I don't use a lot of the Eco Styler Gel because I do have 4C hair, my hair is extremely curly, and if I add too much of this Eco Styler Gel, my hair will definitely curl up and it'll defeat the purpose of doing this. So I'm just gonna add a little bit of that gel around the perimeter of my hairline and then I'm going to take a brush. Um, I think it's like a boar bristle brush, it's just a skinnier version. And I'm literally going to just take that brush and I'm gonna brush my hair into a ponytail, into that same ponytail, just to get it as straight as I possibly can. This was really a struggle. My arms were hurting so freaking bad, guys. If you do ponytails, then you know. So next I'm gonna go in with some got to be gel. I like to use the black bottle only because the yellow bottle tends to make my hair flake and it gets really, really hard and I don't really like that. Um, so again, I'm doing the same steps um, with this as I did with the Eco Styler. I'm just literally applying that all around the perimeter of my hair. I love this because it makes my hair very sleek and it doesn't really curl up once you brush it out. It doesn't really curl up, so I really, really like that. So once I have all my product worked in, I'm gonna take that ponytail out. Um, Cause that was just a ponytail just to give us a diameter and I don't even know the word I'm looking for, but just to give us a reference. Um, so now I'm gonna take that ponytail out and I'm gonna just put it back into a ponytail, brushing the back. For some reason, the back of my hair is where all the lumps go when I'm trying to like put it into a nice neat ponytail. So I'm just, you know, putting in the hard work y'all. This mess, my, when I tell you guys my arms were on fire like my arms are on fire I'm trying to get this ponytail as straight and as sleek as I possibly can so that's literally all I'm gonna do right here is I'm just trying to get it nice and smooth so that way when we do our ponytail it looks very smooth and there's like no lumps and bumps I just don't think that's cute sis like make sure your ponytail is sleek and on fleek so literally I'm just gonna do that and put it back into a ponytail
Hey guys, so 15 years later, I finally got it in a nice new ponytail. There is no lumps, no bumps, no nothing, which is exactly what you want. You want it to be as smooth as possible. As you guys can see, it's extremely smooth. Now I'm going in with more product, guys. I'm going in with some edge control. I really, really love this stuff because it makes my hair look very smooth and it gets all those flyaways and it just it just looks nice, okay? That's all you need to know is it looks nice, so use it. Um, so I'm pretty much just gonna dip my brush into the product and I'm just gonna up take it in sections and just apply it around my entire hair. This is literally, as you guys can see, it makes it look so sleek. And I love doing this step, especially when you have 4C hair because a lot of people assume that you have to straighten your hair because you have 4C hair, you'll never get it sleek enough. And that's not true. Using this method will definitely allow you to get the sleekest ponytail you could possibly get without straightening your hair. I've been natural for almost five years now. And I do not put heat on my hair at all. so. I love using this method, it works perfectly for me, so I think it'll definitely be a good option for you as well. Oh my God, guys, if I have to take this ponytail down one more time, I swear I was gonna lose my mind. But now that we have all the product in there and we have the ponytail the way that we like it, I literally took the ponytail out again, so that way there was no lumps around the the ponytail holder part. I wanted it to be, like I said, as straight and as sleek as possible. Um, so I took the ponytail out one last time and now I'm just going to get it nice and straight and sleek, make sure there's no lumps and bumps and then I'm just going to put it back in the ponytail and that's pretty much it. So I'm gonna let you watch me do that and then I'll come back to move on to the next step. Now it's time to braid it. I'm gonna do just a regular three strand braid. That's gonna allow me to be able to wrap my bundles around the braid um, to make it, th that's just the way that I like it. Some people do it in a little top knot, but I personally don't like doing the little top knot thing because I feel like when you do that, if you bend over or anything like that, I feel like your ponytail is gonna spread because it's just like sitting on the top of your head. So I prefer to do the braided method. It just works a little bit better for me. I like it a little bit more. My hands are so tired, guys. Uh, my hands are so freaking tired filming this, but yeah, so I'm just literally gonna put that in a braid and then I'm gonna secure it with a little rubber band at the end, um, just so that the braid does not come loose at all because that would be tragic. So I didn't film me doing my baby hairs. I actually did that off camera because I needed to be close up to the mirror. So we're just gonna put this scarf on just to secure our baby hairs and to secure everything. Um, I like to leave a scarf on while I wrap my bundles around just so that when I take the scarf off, my hair is nice and sleek. Alrighty guys, so now we're moving on to the bundles. I am obsessed with this hair. It's super inexpensive. Anybody can buy this hair, especially if you're on a budget. This hair was only $20 for two bundles and I'm obsessed with it. So I like to take a little um, elastic band and wrap it around a part of the hair. That way it's easy for me to attach it to my real hair without using bobby pins. I do not like using bobby pins at all. I just feel like bobby pins just don't last and it's not as secure as I want it to be and I need this ponytail to be secure. So I'm literally just gonna take that and wrap it around the bundles and I'm gonna take that same elastic and wrap it around the end of the braid and then we're gonna start wrapping it. 
So the way that I like to do it when I'm wrapping my bundles around is I like to take my time. I'll wrap a few um, wraps and then I'll finger detangle it. Then I'll wrap some more and then finger detangle it. Um, so it's literally just that simple. You just literally want to wrap it around. I like to keep the webs as close together as I possibly can. That way my ponytail is more full. Um, the farther apart you do the webs, the more likely you're going to run out of space. You're going to use less hair and it's not going to be as full. So I literally just like to wrap it in a circle, wrap it around. I'm going to get a close up shot for you guys that way you guys can see a little bit more in detail how I did this. So I went ahead and slowed this clip down for you. As you guys can see, you literally just want to take the bundles and wrap it around. You're going to wrap it, comb it, wrap it, comb it. That is the simplest way I can put it. Um, and like I said, I like to do this because in the end, it makes it easier to detangle. You don't want to not comb it out as you go and then you get to the end and it's time to comb it out and now you pretty much are pulling and tugging on your ponytail. Um, so literally, you just want to take the bundles and wrap it all the way around and just continue to do that throughout the head all the way until you get to the top. Just continue wrapping that until you run out of weft. Now for me, when I run out of weft, I like to take it just a little piece at the end and I like to wrap it around the top. You'll see here, I'm just gonna take that and literally wrap it around the top. And I like to do this because it's more secure. You don't have to use bobby pins. You don't have to worry about it coming out after a while. Bobby pins hurt, guys. So I personally don't like to use them. This method works perfectly for me. My ponytail never has ever come out. So you literally just wanna do that. And then we're gonna take our second bundle and I'm gonna do the same thing. So I'm gonna take a little piece of the hair from the second bundle and I'm gonna wrap it around the top just so that way we have it secure so we can start the wrapping process. You can definitely use bobby pins, but like I said, in my opinion, bobby pins do not last as long. They are not as secure. So if you're looking for a more secure method, I prefer to go with this one. So literally I did that and now I'm just gonna wrap it around like we did the first bundle all the way until we get to the top. Once you get to the top, you're gonna do that same thing. But when I get to the top, you guys see how I have my head tilted sideways? When I get to the top, I like to put my head back in the way that the ponytail was going to be sitting majority of the time. Because I find that if you have your head tilted to the side and you finish your ponytail off to the side, I find that my ponytails tend to lean to the side. So that's why I tilt my head back. And then I'm gonna take a little piece of that leftover bundle again and just wrap it around just to secure it. Um, that's literally all I do. I'm just gonna wrap, 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 wrap it around as you guys can see, just to secure it, guys. This was a very strenuous process on my arms. Um, this video is about 15 minutes long, but altogether it was about 35 minutes long. So now we're gonna take the scarf off and our hair should be laid, hunty. Yes, yeah, so let's see what those baby hairs looking like. Ooh, look at that baby hair, it's on fleek though. <laughs> um, so yeah, literally that's all I did. And what I'm gonna do now is just take a piece of hair from the back. You definitely wanna take a piece of hair from the back so you can't tell that it's missing. I'm gonna comb it out and I'm gonna wrap it around just to hide the weft. That way it looks more natural and you don't actually see the weft. Um, so you literally just wanna wrap that and you wanna comb it and make sure it's flat so that way it doesn't look like bulky or you know, like scrunchy up there. You just wanna make it look very flat. So I like to comb it as I go. That way it just looks sleek and very seamless and you know, it just looks nice. So you just wanna keep on wrapping. And you just wanna wrap it all the way around until you literally run out of hair. So for me, when I run out of hair, I like to take a small piece and add it with that to finish it off. Because I noticed that if I just, you know, wrap the wrap that part around and just leave it like that, I noticed that it actually comes down and we don't want that because we don't got time to be redoing our ponytails. So I took a little small piece to add with the part that I finished off with, if that makes any sense. And I'm just gonna wrap that around and that's definitely gonna secure it, guys. And you don't need no bobby pins, you don't need anything. And literally, that is pretty much it. I'm just gonna comb through it with my fingers and that's it, y'all. This ponytail was so easy to do. It took me about 35 minutes to do so. Um, and like I said, it makes it so easy to comb it out at the end if you comb it through as you're going. So yeah, that is literally all I did and that's how I got this ponytail.
Okay guys, well that completes this tutorial. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, this is how I do my ponytails. Um, everybody has their way of doing it. Everybody does something different, but this is the way that I felt worked for me and this is how I've been doing my ponytails. I've also worn this exact same hair. This is like my second or third time using this hair. Um, I used it also in this picture right here. I'll post it right there, that way you guys can see it. It's on my Instagram. Um, but yeah, I am super obsessed with it. Like, can you see that? Like, hold on. It's so freaking cute. I am literally obsessed, okay? And it was only like 20 bucks for this hair. And it's been doing me good. I mean, like I've said, I've used it like two or three times. It's been doing me really good. Well, that is it for this video. Please don't forget to give this video a like, comment, share. Give it a huge thumbs up if you learned something from this video. Or just give it a thumbs up just because this ponytail is cute, girl. Like. It's so freaking cute. Um, I'm, I'm super excited about the outcome. I'm glad I am glad I did it the way I did. It turned out good. Uh, but yeah, guys, thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.